All right, Shalom Rastafari. Let's see the part two of this. this we don't blaspheme against Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? They don't blaspheme against Rastafari. So, like, um, we had left off. What we had left off? We actually left off. This is this page right here, this Torah Code 2012. We dealt with it in the first part about the Hala Selassie, uh, free Masonic accusation and assumption that we clarify that and get into the very root of it and also dealing with the mystery of Tyre and, and, and Ethiopia within the Psalms and the Scripture, as well as um, Jah is not from Jabulun, as some very ignorant people out there who claim to be, you know, Bible people or Bible readers or whatever like that. But now this is from 2011, November 9th, Wednesday, 2011, this article. We dealt with this in the first part. Some very unscientific, you know, it's just like pick whatever letters you want to pick, you know, at random and spell whatever you want to spell and, you know, shuffle around. Some people, this is wisdom. To us, this is garbage. And this is not the eye of Ra. You understand? I mean, you can tell by the angle and everything else. This is, the Euro this is actually the eye of Ra according to, you understand, the European Aleister Crowley sort of thing. Then there's some third eye reggae band right here. Mm-hmm which has another variation of it, so forth and so on. But we haven't heard their compilation of what it's about. We know a lot of folks are doing reggae, so forth and so on. Now, well, we dealt with this part here, so forth and so on. So that's in the first part, right? And also, it's about, they call him Bob Marley, a fool, idol, so forth and so on. All right? Then they talk about, here's what we left off, right? Where it says, uh, what are some of their preaching of lies? So they assume that Rastafari is preaching of lies, right? Now, in the area in Scripture, we already dealt with the name part from Scripture, the new name, because they try to say that, well, because Bob Marley says, you know, I and I have a new name. That's biblical, that's scriptural. The first part of this will actually go into that. Now, let's go to, um, let's see, is it blaspheme, right? Is it blaspheme, right? Is it blaspheme, and let's put heaven, Right? Blaspheme. They want to blaspheme I and I heavens, right? So let's go to the Blue Letter Bible and see what shows up. You know what I'm you got to share this with your brothers and sisters. Right? It says right here, and, and what? Revelation 13 and 6. Here we are. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name. This one who's doing this page here, this Torah code page, is blaspheming the good name of his imperial majesty and I and I Rastafari. All right, now here they're going to talk about um, the Babylon Rasta. What? Excuse me? The Babylon Rasta? You understand? What are you talking about? Not I and I Rastafari. He said he worship Hala Selassie first. He praised his majesty's name, right? But he said, Who is Teferi Mekonin, the king of Ethiopia? It is true that Negus or Negus Teferi Mekonin or Negus Tafari Makinen was the king of Ethiopia, but that was, what was it? It was 19, that was 1929, right? But in 1930, we're talking about Kedemawi Haile Selassie. You understand? Moan Bessazem Negeri Yehuda, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, Shiyume Gziari Negus Neges Ethiopia. We're talking about the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Haile Selassie I, his imperial majesty the elect of God, the king of kings of Ethiopia, was on the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. But they say right here that to comes, right, he says, who is the foreign Makana and the king of Ethiopia, to comes from many sons. I mean, what kind of person is this? Is it not a right? To comes from many sons of the dynasty, right, of Solomon. But he is not God. This king is not the Messiah Yeshua. You understand? The Messiah Yeshua. Okay, this is what they say, right? The, the enormous difference, they say, to Far Mekonin, he died. You understand? He, quote, died, end quote, and his tomb is located in Addis Ababa. Have you opened it up? Have you done examination of the bone lies? You understand? The bone lies. You need to check that out. You understand? All that ceremony there is what it is. We know what it is, right? Now, they say that Yeshua, um, um, Messiah, it, not see, not Mishu Messiah, not see the death because he is the Lord of the resurrection. 
You understand? But who raised him? Did he raise himself? I, I really wish they could answer this. Who raised him? It's his father that raised him. The father and the son is one. Now, they say, they say another lie from this Babylon, the Rasta preach, from this what? Babylon? No, you're the Babylon. You understand? Your Torah code is the Babylon. You understand? Babylon is a... In fact, the Torah that they're dealing with is the Babylonian Torah. It's very clear. It's the Masorah. Masorah means tradition. Yeshua HaMoshiach, he condemned their tradition. You understand? But anyway, they said that the Rasta preach that the Lord is black, and they insult or offend the white Jesus. No, we offend you. You understand? Because you believe the lie. I and I don't believe the lie. You believe the lie. You understand? And we don't get into that my friend stuff. You understand? That's, that's illogical. That's like you're afraid. You've got to say my friend. No. These are our enemy. You understand? So they said that the Lord is black, and they insult or offend the white Jesus. You're, you're Caesar Borgias. You understand? Painted in the, what, 14th or uh, 15th century. You understand? Caesar Borgias and Lucretia. Lucrezia. And Rodrigo, the little baby boy, you, you understand? Um, and there's some incest or whatever. You mean the son of Pope Alexander the Sixth? That's who we offend. You understand? We, the slave trade. You do want to speak about that? But see, they think that was right. They think that was cool. That's what they're defending. And this person says, "I wonder." Yeah, you wonder a lot. You understand? If they think with carnal mind, certainly. They have carnal thoughts. Excuse me, why we have carnal thoughts? Jesus is not black, they say right here, because he's born in Bethlehem in Judea. The Messiah is light. So you see the racism right here? They didn't say Jesus is not dark. They said Jesus is not black. And we're talking about black and white, European, Ethiopian, Roman, Ethiopian. It was the Romans that crucified him. But anyway, Tacitus, Tacitus, the Roman historian, said that the Jews that he saw were of the race of the Ethiopian. Right, the Ethiopum uh, Prolem Ethiopum, or Ethiopum Prolem, right? But you see this right here, Jesus is not black because he was born in, in Judea, the Messiah is light. Let's show them right here, this is the Russian Orthodox. Probably they condemn the Russian Orthodox too, you understand? Probably, well, tell Putin all about it, all right? Here's your queen right here getting a lesson, you understand, about nature, about creation, all right? Uh, well, let's look at this right here, here we go. You understand? This is the Russian Orthodox, right? This is the Ru you, you need to see it a little bit larger. Let's see if we, does this offend you? You understand? Does this offend you? They say we offend the white Jesus. What kind of what kind of person is this? You understand? But these are the kind of these are the kind of folks you got. You understand? Writing blogs like with five five year olds. You, you understand this right here? You understand? So who's offending who? Let's be real. So it's not a Rastafari painting. You understand? This is, this is a Russian Orthodox painting. And many of the churches before the iconoclast phase, before the whitewashing, and before the um, Renaissance, you know, all the paintings that were commissioned by the Pope of Babylon. And even the Pope admits that Rome is Babylon. Looking through their writings and literature, they actually admit that. There's no um, contest about that. This is what the Rastafari, you understand, or the Rasta, as you say, preach against. Now, then they quote Matthew 2 and 4, uh, when he had called together all the people's chief uh, priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. Who is the he he's talking about? He's talking about Herod. You understand? Because that's what they represent, Herod, the Indumean. You understand? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come the ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Yes, that is speaking of the son, Likno. That is correct. That is speaking of the son. But remember, and he opened, like Antichrist and, and his disciples, you know, all the little minions of this Luciferian pseudo-Christianity, they opened their mouth and blasphemy against God, against the king of kings, to blaspheme his name, Kadamawi, Hila, Selase, and his tabernacle in Ethiopia, and them that dwell in heaven, those that dwell in the true heavens, and speaking about the true Ras Tefari. Let's um, find um, with Ethiopia. Let's get Ethiopia for a moment. Let's see how they explain this right here. Um, let's bring up Ethiopia. We have a couple of more minutes on this right here. We'll probably come back to this, or uh, come forward rather, backward, never forward, ever. So you see where 87 and 4 says, 
I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. So this one will know what we mean by Babylon. You know, the sense of they're babbling on, on their Torah 2012 page. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. With who? With Ethiopia. This man was born there. Now, if we could uh, pull that up, let's look right here. Is it over here? Okay, it's not over there. Solomon's Temple. Let's click on this really quickly, see if we can pu pull this up. Cause we got less than a minute probably right here in this one. All right, we're going to show you the land region right here. All these are places it's talking about. Rahab is Egypt. This is Ethiopia right here. Right, this is Philistine. This is Babylon. You understand? To them that know me. But they obviously don't know God as they say. So, anyway, they pulled up one for the son. We pulled up one for the father. With Ethiopia, this man was born there. This is what the Rastafari is speaking about. You know, and this is what I and I are speaking about. Now they say false prophet of Rastafari, and they have the Bobo Shanti. Bobo Shanti, are you hearing this? Share this with your Bobo Shanti brethren and sisterin, right? They said another false prophet of Rastafari proclaimed himself King Emmanuel Charles Edwards the six seven created adoption of Bobo Shanti. We dealt with that in the first part. They preach that Jesus is black. And this false prophet claiming to be the black Messiah, they regard Edwards as God, also preach the black supremacy concept is symbolic, right? And then they talk about this right here, black supremacy, the royal parchment scrolls, you know, they, they're talking about all those things right there. Then you see this, I don't know what this, Illuminati.